In this video, I want to go through another CFA Level 1 exam style question, this time coming from the quantitative methods section of the curriculum. We'll be looking at measures of central tendency, more specifically the mode and the median. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, do keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the question that I want us to have a go at. The table below gives the annual total returns for the Qualtech Fund since its inception eight years ago. And you've got eight years worth of uh, returns data. Now, Qualtech's mode and median annual return are closest to three options follow. Right, let's get started. Let's first of all define the mode. The mode is simply the uh, item which occurs the most. So most frequently occurring item. And... Um, when you're looking for this one, well, you just, just need to um, observe the data and see if there is a indeed an item which appears most frequently. Frequently, sorry, uh, for me, that seems to be the 0 0.3, which appears over here and uh, up here as well. So I guess 0.3%. Now, this makes the uh, um, data here unimodal because it has a single mode. So one mode, one most frequently occurring item. But if you've got a data set in which there is you know, more than one mode, more than one item appears as frequently as the uh, next one, then if, you know, if it's got two modes, uh, you would say that the data is bimodal or even you know, something like trimodal. Um, which is basically that it has three modes, three most frequently occurring items. So this is relatively easy to identify, but just be aware of the fact that there may be more than one mode indeed. Now, the next one we're asked about is the median, and this one requires a little bit of um, computation, I guess, because the median is the value of the middle item in a data set, which is arranged um, either in ascending or descending order. So in ascending, that's an upward pointing arrow, or descending order. And what you've got to do over here is take this data and really arrange it. So, you know, don't just take the data from the table, which is arranged in historical chronological order, but maybe start, you know, it will be quite natural to start from the lowest one. So I guess this is a negative 2.6. Then we've got another negative 0 0.5. Then we move into positive territory and we've got those two 0 0.3s. Okay, then the next one, I guess, is going to be a 1.2. What's the next one? That's going to be the 2. Then we've got a 3.5 and a 12 at the end, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, what's the middle item over here? Well, the problem is that there isn't necessarily going to be an, a, an item that's easy to identify as being in the middle because even though I, you know, I've got more space for this, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an even number of items. And the problem is the middle, the one that separates the data set into two equal halves is well, it's neither this one or this one. And in this case, don't go for the answer, there is no median value. You should try and compute the midpoint here in between these numbers and just make it whatever is in the middle of those two. So basically the arithmetic average of the two. So what's the midpoint? 0 0.3 plus 1.2 divided by 2 is going to be 1.5 divided by 2, and that's 0 0.75. This is in percent. So as you can see, this will give actually answer C in combination with the mode. Brilliant. However, just in case you need to do this on a bigger data set, potentially, 
remember that the position of the median in terms of, you know, the data point when it is arranged, when the data is arranged in ascending or descending order is going to always be provided by n plus 1 divided by 2, where n is the number of items in that data set. So over here, we had 8 items plus 1 divide that by 2, which is basically 9 divided by 2, and it should have been item 4.5, meaning in between the 4 and 5 lying directly in the middle. So correct identification of the uh, position of that middle item. However, that's not the answer. The median isn't 4.5. It's whatever lies in between item 4 and 5 as when they are arranged in ascending or descending order. Answer C anyway, and that's the mode and median.